John MacArthur at G3 this week. There's a quote in the thumbnail of this video and on the screen right now by Dr. John MacArthur. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about what happened at G3. We're going to talk about a whole lot. Today is October 3rd, 2021, and I don't know when this video will drop. I don't know if it will be today or tomorrow. I don't think it will be any later than Monday, October 4th. But the reason why I don't know when it's going to drop is because this YouTube channel is suspended. Currently, at the time of me recording this video, my YouTube channel is suspended. We're going to talk about why that is. We're going to talk about the video that caused my YouTube channel to be suspended for one week. I'm going to read some feedback from those who did watch that particular video. Again, we'll talk about G3 and we'll talk about this week at Grace Community Church in the absence of Pastor John MacArthur. Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Tim, the BTWN guy. This is the notice that I got. This is the email that I got. We know this might be a disappointment, but it's important to us that YouTube be a safe place for all. My content violated their community guidelines in regards to medical information, medical misinformation. I am guilty of breaking YouTube's medical information guidelines. This is why it's very important that you go to btwnnews.com, btwnnews.com or biblethumpingwingnut.com. This is the homepage on this top yellow bar. You can put your email address in and whether YouTube has banned me or not, you will be able to receive my newsletters and find out where you can get my content. And if you appreciate what I'm doing here and want to help uh, pay for all the stuff that BTW and News is doing right here, you can send a check. You can click on support our ministry, which I just did. You can send a physical check. You can donate via PayPal or you can support on Patreon. Different levels on Patreon, different levels of uh, swag giveaways and benefits, depending on the amount that you support. But if you support on Patreon for any amount, you can watch all my videos before they drop here on YouTube without advertising. So there's a good reason to go and do that. This week at Grace Community Church, this gentleman preached. He did an excellent job. And the title of his sermon was Making Sense of the Ascension. Making Sense of the Ascension, in which he gave seven encouraging takeaways from the Ascension of Christ. He has a, an accent. His name is Paul Twiss. Paul Twiss. And uh, his nationality, I'm not sure, but it's a great accent that he has. And he's really smart. And he preaches a great biblical message today at Grace Community Church. You can watch that sermon right now on Rumble. Go to Rumble and search BTWN. Go to Rumble and search BTWN. You can watch his video. Not only can you watch that video from Grace Community Church, but you can watch the band video that is not allowed here on YouTube that caused me to be suspended for... A week. Now, can they suspend me for telling you where to go and watch it? I am not sure. I hope not. And then you can also on Rumble watch previous weeks of Grace Community Church's sermon. This is the video that got me banned. This is the video that got me banned. Um, it's on Rumble. I went to Wisconsin to podcast with my longtime friend and podcast partner, Mr. Len Pettis. And uh, I'm going to also read, did I mention to you, I'm going to read some feedback from people who did watch this. Good and bad feedback from that. This is the notice that I got from YouTube. I got, I have two community guideline strikes on this YouTube channel. Actually, I received a warning 
September 2nd, 2020. September 2nd, 2020. That's the warning that I got. What I did that violated their um, medical misinformation was I played a clip of Pastor John MacArthur uh, saying there is no pandemic. So that got me a warning. After a warning, you get strikes. And uh, the, the, the video that I uploaded, here's the thing. This video was never going to be public on YouTube. But they, they don't know that. This is, this is content that is normally Patreon only. If you're a patron for $10 or more a month, you get this particular podcast. And this is a podcast, behind-the-scenes podcast uh, recording of an audio podcast and uh, I put it up on YouTube and then I share the link with the patrons. Nobody on YouTube can actually access it because it's set to uh, unlisted and no one can watch it unless I share the link with them. So I share the link with everyone who gives on Patreon for the $10 amount. So I uploaded that and YouTube went through it, even though I was never going to make it public. They didn't know that. And they deemed it full of medical misinformation. Now, here's some feedback from that video. Stay tuned. We're going to go to G3 and look at some great quotes from G3 and uh, read some tweets and all. But uh, here's some feedback. I cut and pasted it here so y'all wouldn't uh, see their email addresses. Um, this, these are people who watched the video that has been banned here on YouTube. We love you, man. We'll continue to pray for you. Remember when it gets bad for Christians, the glorious rapture is near. Another feedback is appreciate the update. Have a restful weekend. I did have a great weekend. The first part wasn't restful because I was officiating a wedding, a family wedding, which I was very nervous about. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen pictures uh, of me officiating and the wedding couple and all that. Um, it was a great time. Um, another feedback, the channel has been suspended. Oh my, I'm so sorry to hear this. I hope that your channel is reinstated soon. Shame on YouTube. Enjoy the channel very much. All right. <laughs> now some clarification for you because let me read the, let me read this feedback. This Len Pettis guy, is going to destroy your platform. He is extremely opinionated, but not biblically sound. Sad to read that he influences so many youth in his church. This is my podcast partner. We've been podcasting together since 2014. But in the last two years, this YouTube channel has gone from 8,000 subscribers to 93,000 subscribers. And a lot of you are unfamiliar with Len Pettis and why he's my co-host. He's a great guy. I disagree with you here in one way, and I agree in another way. Uh, he is biblically sound. He is a Christian. He's firmly, he affirms the gospel of Jesus Christ and Orthodox Christianity. That is what is uh, a must within uh, Protestant Christianity. He affirms them. Uh, and, uh, but on the, other si on the other side, I do agree with you. He is extremely opinionated, and that's what makes the podcast so interesting. Len and I agree, disagree, <laughs> we agree on a lot, and we disagree on a lot. And that's what makes the podcast interesting. And um, the theme for the BTWN Podcast Network is Biblical Christianity's Marketplace of Ideas. That means within biblical Christianity, there are, there's a whole marketplace of ideas within Christianity. And we can disagree within that marketplace. And that's what the network is all about. Here's the main uh, comment that I want to uh, respond to. Uh, Tim, while I don't agree in the banning of uh, any political content on YouTube, I do think the video in question was wanting in many ways. Now, part of this negative feedback is my fault because I didn't prime the audience to what they were about to see. Uh, first, you set it up right from the start to have zero credibility from the first impression and point of view. There was no introduction uh, 
the, other than his name and why this person should be anything ha, has anything to say that is credible. That is because this is episode four of seven. The first two episodes when I went to Wisconsin was me talking to Len Pettis and explaining who he is, explaining our podcast, that we're two lay persons who just sit down and talk about our own lives, our own view of theology, our faith, and we share everything. We put it out there on the table, and we agree, and we disagree, and we have a good time uh, talking. So, uh, But on episode four, I did not introduce him well. <laughs> also, you're in a trailer, and it appears to be someone's backyard. You're in shorts and he's in t-shirts with the headphones on (laughs) as if it was a noisy helicopter. Yet you're only sitting three feet away from each other. (laughs) This is funny. I have headphones in now. And what it does, uh, I I have earphones in now. Well, what it does, it helps me to know how well I'm coming through the microphone. And when you are primarily recording something for audio quality, Headphones are a must, and it it helps with f- uh, eliminating feedback, and it helps you to understand how you're coming through on the microphone. <laughs> so Len and I, sitting, let me see here, sitting here in this trailer in his backyard. Yes, it is a trailer in his backyard. He's got those headphones on, and um, <clears throat> yes. This is a behind the scenes, and I didn't make it clear. This is a behind the scenes video of us podcasting. So it's not for uh, video primarily. It's for audio quality. And thankfully, he didn't say anything negative about uh, the audio quality. He goes on from there, and uh, he uh, criticizes uh, more things including our discussion and uh, the theology, the points points of about the government that Len Pettis shared. Um, but then he encouraged me that uh, you can't always have great things out there. You got to fail sometimes. Maybe next time, Tim, you'll get them the next time. So that is clarifying for this, this gentleman who sent me this. And perhaps that might prime the pump for you to go to Rumble and go and watch that video, the one that got me in trouble here on YouTube, and that some people are giving some negative feedback to. Before we move on to uh, G3, let me encourage you to go to builderssummit.org. Builderssummit.org. This is approaching really quickly. It's the only event that I run. It is November 12, 13, and 14. Let me apologize. This is a longer video than usual because I haven't been able to make a video in the last week. So check this out. Builder Summit. You don't want to miss it. Only 29 spots left. Registration is just $150. Two nights lodging. The entire conference. And... uh, the meals, the snacks, the events, and everything. And then as a, as a note of prayer request, pray for our main speaker, Pastor Mike Abendroth, who just got home from being in the hospital, suffering from complications from COVID. For 16 days, he was in the hospital. He's home now, recovering. And um, his, his being speaking at the Builder Summit is in, <clears throat> is in question. So pray the Lord heals him. Pray, thank the Lord that God spared his life. The man thought he was going to die for quite a while, and God spared his life. Um, <clears throat> COVID-19 medical misinformation policy. I'm going to go over this at the end of this video. <clears throat> and for some, you don't care to see that. But it's very interesting what you can and cannot say <clears throat> on YouTube. So I'm going to read from their their policy. But before I do, probably the whole reason why you clicked on this video, G3 Conference. Here is <clears throat> some Twitter tweets from G3. <clears throat> this is Pastor James Coates. Uh, he was the highlight for this young lady uh, at the G3 This man right here went to prison for rejecting Caesar and honoring King Jesus. 
May God bless this man and all the Canadian pastors. Pray for them. The battle continues up there. Here's John MacArthur's quote, <clears throat> the thumbnail of this video. This is a, a tweet from G3 Conferences or Conference, G3 Conference. Dr. John MacArthur stinging comments on today's panel at the 2021 G3 Conference. Join us Friday via live stream. That's gone past already. Um, scripture says, Oh, my people, their oppressors are children and women rule over them. <laughs> when I reviewed that sermon, what I've learned from following Pastor John is that he gets on certain certain uh, topics and he hammers away at every venue, everywhere he goes, every article he writes, or every time he speaks, he'll hammer away at that theme. And this was the theme of one of his sermons. And when I shared it, I got a lot of feedback. Where did Pastor John say that? Well, he said it again. <clears throat> uh, scripture says, O oh, my people, their oppressors are children and women rule over them. And God has given us, that's the United States, a woman as vice president and a child as a president. Ouch. Pastor John speaking multiple times this week at the G3 conference in Atlanta. Tom Askell uh, tweeted, my problem in, in sanctification is not needing more revelation, but needing to obey the revelation I already have. That's David Miller who spoke at the G3 conference. David Miller, an older gentleman, very wise gentleman, many years in ministry. Great point. <laughs> Don't look for new revelation. The revelation that he's given us in Scripture, as I look back and try to find a Bible, uh, the revelation that he's given us in Scripture uh, is enough. Try to, try to obey that and follow that. Don't look for new revelation. Paul Washer at G3 <clears throat> says, we're moving into a time <clears throat> in, in which the gospel and those who preach it are an ever-increasing scandal, not only to the world, but to many who associate themselves with Christ and the church. Ouch. More from G3. Look at that. Vody Balcom is there. Vody Balcom speaking at least once. Jenna Ellis is there. Chris Huff tweets, one of the many highlights in my short time at G3 was being able to to officially meet Miss Jenna Ellis. Pretty cool. Matt Tarr tweeting. Matt Tarr is the other key speaker for the Builders Summit. Matt Tarr was on staff at Grace Community Church for a while, even in the men's ministry. He's now a pastor in my area. Not even standing room in James Coates' breakout session. This is a picture from James Coates breakout session, people standing on the sides, lots of people there excited to hear James Coates preach. Fody Balcom from the pulpit, grace and peace come to you from God and God alone. And my friend, Jeremiah Johnson tweeting, it's great, it's been a great busy morning at G3. Stop by the Grace to You booth and say hello. Isn't that great? Grace, <laughs> Jeremiah Johnson at the G3 conference. Also, well, he's Phil Johnson's son. Great friend of mine. Uh, Pastor John uh, preached. One of the times he preached, he gave this quote, Christ will spend eternity with all who he has redeemed. None will fall through the cracks. Amen. If you have repented and trust Christ as your Lord, and Savior, he won't miss you. He'll come get us all. He won't miss a single one of us. Pastor John preaching truth at great at G3. Conrad May Bayway, who has been interviewed on this YouTube channel, he says, as he spoke at uh, G3, in the Church of Christ, Jesus Christ, his word is final. It doesn't matter how you feel. 
It doesn't matter whether you like it. Christ is the final authority. Our role is to obey. That's why I so often tell people, stop wrestling with Scripture and submit to it. Last G3 quote from Twitter. Paul Washer at the 2021 G3 conference says, There are no great men of God. There are only tiny weak men of a great God. That's right. We ought not ever think too highly of ourselves. It's all but the grace of God. All right, let's look at this. You've hung around this long. The co- This is YouTube's COVID-19 medical misinformation policy, and it's kind of scary some of the things that are in here. YouTube doesn't allow content that spreads medical misinformation that contradicts local, local health authorities or the World Health Organization medical information about COVID-19. This is limited to content that contradicts the World Health Organization or the health authorities local health or authorities. So my my big question right off the bat is when they disagree what happens? The World Health Organization has had disagreements with my own local health authorities. And if I share one or the other I could be in violation of this rule. Um, This includes treatment, prevention, diagnosis, transmission, social distancing, and self-isolation guidelines, and the existence of COVID-19. Note, YouTube policies, this is is really hard for me to grasp as well, YouTube policies on COVID-19 are subject to change in response to changes to global or local health authorities' guidelines on the virus. This policy was published May 20, 2020. Can the WHO and local health authorities disagree with the guidelines that they have placed? I guess they can. They can come to new conclusions They can do their research and come to new conclusions, but we can't. We can't suggest that they're wrong, but they can, which is shut up and listen. Be a sheep. YouTube and the the, powers that be don't think we will tell you what to think about COVID-19. What this policy means to you. This was troubling. This one here. Content that encourages the use of home remedies, prayer, or rituals in place of medical treatment, such as consulting a doctor or going to the hospital. If anyone was to say on a YouTube video, you should pray and not and they don't suggest that you go talk to a doctor that's a violation of youtube policies that's medical misinformation if you have any condition and a pastor was to suggest that you pray for healing then that's violating the policy content that recommends use of ivermectin and hydrochloroquine Ivermectin and hydrochloroquine, they are two drugs that YouTube makes it clear that you you should not look to, period. Throughout this whole document, those two drugs over and over again are claiming that those those drugs are effective treatments. You can, that's a violation. Uh, Categorical claims that ivermectin is effective is a violation. Claims that either of those are safe to use in treatment for COVID-19. You're not allowed to say that. Claims that any medical or vaccination is guaranteed preventive method for COVID-19. You can't say that. Which is weird. 
claims that wearing a mask is dangerous or causes negative physical health effects. <laughs> I have a problem with that one too. If you put on a COVID-19 uh, COVID mask, if you put on a, what is that mask, that 95, whatever, that that one you put on it's, was used primarily for construction, N95, that's it. You put that thing on, wear it for a day. If you put that thing on and you wear it for a day, or you put that thing on and you go out and run some laps around your, your city block, if you do that, you are not allowed to claim that wearing a mask is dangerous or causes negative physical health effects. Any negative health effects. I, for the YouTube individual who's watching this video to review it, I'm not, I am not claiming, I am not breaking any of these rules. I am simply reading them. I'm simply reading them. Uh, claims that, so that people can understand what I did that was wrong. Claims that an approved COVID-19 vaccine will contain substance. This is be shocking to many of you who follow Christians and vaccines. Claims that the COVID-19 vaccine contains substances that are not on the vaccine ingredient list, such as biological matter from feces, fetuses, excuse me, fetal tissue, fetal cell lines, or animal products. You're not allowed to say that on YouTube either. And I won't comment on it. Claims that COVID-19 vaccines do not reduce risk of contracting COVID-19. Can't say that. There's a reason why I'm highlighting them. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just reading them. And you can react however you want to react. I'm just reading them. Content that promotes the use of unapproved or homemade COVID-19 vaccines. Prom content that prom promotes the use of unapproved or home homemade COVID-19 vaccines. Hmm. Yeah, can't make your own. Don't make your own. Uh, instructions to counterfeit vaccine certificates. I, I guess you shouldn't do that either. Claims th that approved COVID-19 tests cannot diagnose COVID-19. <laughs> Content that claims that any group or individual has immunity to the virus or cannot transmit the virus. Pastor John, uh, a few weeks ago, when I was in Chicago, when I made that video, I made my... Um, um, I, I think I had to take the video down uh, because of some issues, different issues I had with YouTube. Um, but I, I made a video from my trailer, um, also known as the BTWN News Mobile Recording Studio. Um, Pastor John said, this is the best place for everybody because we've all had it and we're all immune immune to COVID. I didn't say that he did. Um, I think that's all I have that's high. Oh, what happens if content violates this policy? If your content violates this policy, we'll remove the content and send you an email letting you know. If it's your first time doing that, we'll give you a warning with no penalty to your channel. That's what I got last year when I played Pastor John saying there is no pandemic. You can learn more about our strike system here. We may terminate your channel or account for repeated violations. Uh, we also may terminate your channel or account after a single case of severe abuse or when the channel is dedicated to a policy violation. Like if, if your whole channel is dedicated to um, proving that masks don't work, they, they're not going to give you three chances. They're, like, they're just going to get rid of you. And you can learn more about channel or account terminations here. So lots of fun. Lots of fun. Hey, like I said, Rumble, go to Rumble. It's not allowed here. Can't say it here. I hope that I can tell you. Go to Rumble 
and search BTWN and you will get, you will see all these videos. And amidst them is the one that says right there, banned on YouTube. John MacArthur at Grace to You. Let's see, what else do I have here? That's my Facebook and that's the Builder Summit. Hey, long video. I'm sorry. I had a lot to say. <laughs> I took a week off. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, consider going to uh, btwnews.com and supporting me. Would greatly appreciate it. Lots of expenses coming up uh, with the uh, Builder Summit. If you're not a man and you'd like to sponsor somebody going to the Builder Summit, you can send that money on PayPal and tag it. Uh, Builder Summit registration help or something like that. And uh, send me your feedback at btwnnews.com. No, not there. btwnnews at gmail.com. btwnnews at gmail.com. Thank you so much. So. Uh, so much for those of you who are patrons. Uh, you're paying the bills and so much more. So really appreciate you. Till next video, leave your comment below. I read them all. And my prayer is that uh, no matter who you are, that God would bless you for his glory and for... You're good as well. That's my prayer. See you.